the strongest possible covenant. Misak and Galiza is the one that is so fortified that it cannot be broken at all. It will not be permitted to be broken at all or violated in any sense. Now what is this covenant of the prophets? This is to be investigated because the very important declaration of the Holy Quran of Surah Azad in which we find the higher part of the Bible. It must have some relationship with that ayat. Because in the verse Khatam and Nabi, a very special status of Rulayat is mentioned, which is not shared by any other prophet before him. So the poem of today tell us, which meant that the prophet, the office of the prophet was to come to an end and he was the last of the prophets in time. Does it really mean this? This is to be decided. And instead of seeking help from other surahs, we turn to this very surah in which the verse Khatam and Muhammad is mentioned. And in this surah, in the beginning, before the verse Khatam and Muhammad is mentioned, we come across this covenant. And Allah tells us that this covenant was taken from Allah Muhammad Mustafa Wasallam, as much as was taken by every prophet. So what that covenant be? The only covenant in the Holy Quran which has been referred to as covenant of prophets apart from this place is this covenant which I am going to cite. That is in Surah Al-Imran, verse 82. وَإِذَا قَدَ اللَّهُ مِنْ سَاقِ النَّبِيِّينَ لَمَا 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 Lama. Wa'idha khada Allah al-Misaq al-Nabihin Lama atatukum Ita'ahu wa hikmatun Thumma ja'akum Masoolun Musaddiqun lima ma'adun Latoman nabihin Wa latansuhun Qala akratun وَأَخَذْتُمْ عَلَىٰ بَعْلِكُمْ مِسْرِهِ قَالُوا وَقْرَرْنَا قَالَ فَشَدُهُ وَأَنَا مَعَكُمْ مِنَ الشَّاهِدِينَ And remember the time when Allah took covenant from prophets from all the prophets لَمَا عَتَيْتُكُمْ مِنْ كِتَابٍ وَحِكْمَةٍ Whenever a book is revealed to you and wisdom of God is revealed to you, summa jati rasulun, then after that a sharia has been revealed, a law has been brought. Summa jati rasulun, then if a prophet comes, musaddikun be ma bena yadayi or you are ma aati. It says, it says the translation it says fulfilling, but uh, it is not just fulfilling. Musadjakul Maat means who bears testimony to the fact that whatever was possessed by you was right, and he does not uh, deny, reject the truth of the revealed books. That is the meaning of Musadjakul. He testifies to the truth of uh, the books which have been revealed to you and testify to the truth of the prophets. This is the meaning of Musaddiq. So, if a revelation has been made regarding the law, a book has been revealed and a wisdom, wisdom has been expressed therein, after this, if somebody claims to be a prophet, that is the meaning. If somebody says he is a prophet of Allah, if that person who claims to be a prophet supports the earlier scriptures fully, does not oppose them in any way, does not rebel against the previously uh, related to the revealed truth, and also bears testimony to the truth of earlier prophets, 
If that happens, then what is binding upon these prophets? What should they do? The Holy Quran tells us, Allah took the covenant, la tome nunda bihi. You will believe in such a man. Well, I can't so run now. Not only believe, you will help, you will aid such a man to the maximum of your ability. Because the tense used is nune uh, sakila, which emphasizes the verb in which connection it is used. So, which means that you will very need, most certainly, help him to all your ability. Not only just to believe, but to help him, to aid him with all your capability. <coughs> when Allah took this covenant, then Allah asked, Misri? O Prophets, have you really come into covenant with me on this, in this regard? Have you agreed upon this? They said, yes, we agree upon it. Then Allah would say, Fashadu, now you bear witness that you have signed this covenant with me and I am also going to remain a witness to this fact. Now, if the institution of prophethood, that is the subordinate prophethood after the revelation of the law, was closed once and forever, why this covenant was taken from Hazrat Muhammad Mustafa Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? There is no earthly reason why this covenant should have been taken from him. Can one imagine one? Why should Allah have said it was Nimka? We took the same covenant from thee, O Muhammad, peace be upon him. Now when you ponder further on this, this verse, it is the most revealing verse on this issue. It covers all the aspects of prophethood and our relationship to prophethood and the reasons why we should reject prophethood or accept prophethood. The Holy Quran tells in another place that this has been always the claim of the true believers La Rafare Kodaina Adim that we do not make discriminations between one prophet of Allah and another prophet. The fundamental principle involved is this, that whoever comes from Allah should be accepted because he comes from Allah, because he represents a higher authority. So this debate, this small-minded debate should not be started because this prophet belongs to that nation or that person or that age, so he doesn't belong to us, we may reject him, and only we will accept the prophet of our choice and our selection. This issue is no longer relevant because the higher authority has established his will and manifested it and after that manifestation, lesser beings on earth are left with no choice of rejection or whatsoever or discrimination. Now that being so, that also implies that prophets should not pick up quarrel between each other among themselves. If they represent the same authority, they must agree with each other. So the unification of religion is revealed here. One unified concept of religion all over the globe is expressed here. This verse unifies prophets not only in time, one after the other, but also creates a global image of prophets too. That every prophet agrees with every other prophet. That also shows and strongly establishes that wherever there are points of disagreement, they have always been added later on by people. In the fundamental messages, no prophet can ever disagree with any other prophet whatsoever, whosoever, wherever so, wheresoever, and in whichever time he was found. 